Ozempic and other drugs that can result in weight loss are all the rage across the country and here in Arkansas. Some businesses, including pharmacies, are now struggling to keep them stocked due to the high demand. Uh, just as T3 Eleven's Carter Three found out, though, keeping up the supply could be the least of their worries, though. And the Ozempics um, became much more popular in the weight loss community. You've probably seen the ads, posts, and articles about semaglutide often sold under the brand names Ozempic or Wigovi. Originally intended for people with diabetes, the drugs are also associated with weight loss. John Vinson with the Arkansas Pharmacists Association says this trend is now creating a shortage of a drug that's already hard to get. Sourcing the ingredients and having enough supply is a challenge for the manufacturer, but also <clears throat> they're blockbuster drugs, meaning there's high demand, they're highly effective, they're popular. The shortage isn't the only issue plugging pharmacies. Ann Pace from Little Rock's Cavanaugh Pharmacy says the price can also make it harder to stock. Just think about having something that costs $1,100 and you're getting paid $1,000 for it. So that's not a winning battle for a pharmacist. Pace says her pharmacy has to buy expensive FDA approved versions of Ozempic and they're not always reimbursed like they should be when insurance helps patients with the bill. It's a different story for the Holly Health Center. Most of its patients are looking for help with weight loss. Owner Beth Holly says that allows them to buy a slightly different formula, and those can often be cheaper. We are getting compounded products, again, through a, an FDA registered um, pharmacy. These compounded medications, I, I will speak to that, they aren't FDA approved in that way. Holly says they also keep costs down by being a family owned business in a way most pharmacies can't. And for many pharmacies, the price set by pharmacy benefit managers, or PBMs, often isn't enough. The reimbursement from big insurance or from the middleman who set the prices on your prescription drugs are not sufficient to cover the drug. For THV 11 News, I'm Carter Thweet. Well, Pace and Vincent both suggest several solutions, the main one being laws to force fair reimbursement for these drugs. Four Arkansas PBMs were recently fined for not paying enough to local pharmacies. More info can be found on our website, THV11.com.